Hi everyone, it's me Dr. Ilyas and welcome to Sully's Rounds. In this video, I am going to discuss about an algorithm for hyponatremia evaluation. When you see a patient with hyponatremia, the first thing you have to do is serum osmolality to differentiate true hyponatremia from false hyponatremia. True hyponatremia means hyponatremia associated with low serum osmolality. If you get high osmolality, that is serum osmolality more than 295, this is called fictitious hyponatremia. And if the serum osmolality is normal, that is 285 to 295, this is called pseudo hyponatremia. If the serum osmolality is low, that means less than 285, this is called true hyponatremia. If you don't have facility to measure serum osmolality, you can exclude false hyponatremia by measuring random blood sugar, liver function test, fasting lipid profile and asking for history of recent administration of mannitol and IVIG. After excluding false hyponatremia, you should look urine osmolality to look for ADH action. If hyponatremia is ADH dependent, urine osmolality will be high. The cause of hyponatremia with low urine osmolality are T and Tau syndrome, beer potomania, primary polydipsia and also in renal failure. If you don't have facility to measure urine osmolality, you can use specific gravity as proxy. Specific gravity less than 1.010 indicate hypotonic urine. In case of ADH independent hyponatremia, urine osmolality will be less than 100 to 200. And the causes of ADH independent hyponatremia are T and Tau syndrome, beer potomania, psychogenic polydipsia and also in renal failure. If the urine osmolality is more than 200 to 300, it means hyponatremia is ADH dependent. In case of ADH dependent hyponatremia, the next thing you should assess is volume status of patient. That means hypovolemic, uvolemic or hypervolemic. Hypervolemia due to heart failure, liver failure and nephrotic syndrome evident with raised JVP, pedal edema and ascites. Severe hypovolemia is also evident with hypotension and orthostasis. To differentiate subtle hypovolemia from uvolemia, we can use urine sodium, blood urea level and also uric acid level. Urine sodium less than 20 indicate hypovolemia, serum urea less than 46 mg per deciliter and serum uric acid level less than 4 mg per deciliter indicate SIADH that is syndrome of inappropriate ADH release. If the patient is uvolemic, Always rule out severe hypothyroidism and adrenal insufficiency before labeling it into SIAD, that is SIADH. So, always follow this algorithm for every case of hyponatremia. For full video with the basics and complete approach to hyponatremia, please watch the video given in the link. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video.